I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Good news is I got new carpet in my apartment and now everything that I step on literally feels like a pillow. Bad news is when they did the carpet in my room, um, I didn't realize my bookshelf had to be taken off the wall. I didn't prepare my room for that. And um, they viciously ripped it off the wall and haphazardly put all my books everywhere. So they've been dinged up a little bit and my bookshelf currently looks insane. So now we get to do it together. I know you've been wanting to do that. Now, as you know, my bookshelf is currently in rainbow order. There's no genre or author. It's just literally by color. But all the books are kind of out of order now. And I wanted to talk about some books that I haven't read yet, some books that I have read, and I wanna see how much room we have for new books. Because isn't that the point of everything? More books. And I also wanted to go over my room with you and see where we can put a new bookshelf. Because if you remember from the last vlog, I completely filled out this bookshelf. So I'm thinking of getting a new bookshelf in like the corner of my room. And I wanna go through that with you guys, see your thoughts on that. You guys can comment down below if you feel like that's a good idea. Or if you see something that I don't. I know my room is a shoebox, but I know you guys are creative too. So you can tell me if there's any other place that I can put a bookshelf in my room. I'm really dreading doing this, but as you know, misery loves company. Let's do it together. So this is my thought process. I was thinking maybe we should start unhauling books because as you know, there are some books that I absolutely loathe. We won't say any names. You know what I'm talking about. And we could start getting rid of them. But then I was like, I just filled out this bookshelf. Do I really want to go back to half empty? like my soul just kidding <laughs> no we don't i think i'm gonna keep all the books for now because at the end once we get that other bookshelf that i'm thinking about putting in this corner then we can do a huge unhauling and i feel like that would be fun the only thing i didn't like about my books the last time was that i don't know if you remember but for the bottom two shelves it was black and white and they were kind of all mixed up together so i do want to fix that so i guess this is kind of like a blessing in a way that i have to redo all of these books because now I get to fix those bottom two shelves. A win-win scenario, I guess. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, if you are not new to this channel, you know that I'm trying to learn new languages. And I thought it'd be really cool if every new language that I learned, I got one of my favorite books in that language. And that is The Little Prince. And I have it here in Japanese. I never got to show you guys this before. I've been trying to read it, but the kanji is really hard. So I haven't been able to get very far, but I do have this in English too. And so every language that I learn, I want to get the little prince in that language. And then hopefully by the end of my life, I have a huge series of the little prince in a bunch of different languages. I'm just sentimental like that. I'm just different. <laughs> I'm just different like that. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. Guys, I also have my yearbook from middle school. This is the only yearbook I ever got in my entire life, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> this is eighth grade in like 2000, oh, I'm about to age myself, but I think it was like 2010, 2011. I'm not gonna lie though, it's kind of cute. In a little bit of a pair more kind of way. <laughs> I had like the side bang. I went to middle school in Georgia, so we had to wear uniforms. And it was just the school colors. You had to wear like red, white, or khaki. She was trying her best, okay? And I don't think I looked that bad. <laughs> Wait, like and subscribe first because I'm not about to lose y'all after this. This was my twilight phase. Let me just say that as a fair warning. Don't show Jungkook this, okay? This was me. Right there, side bang and all. I really thought I was hot stuff. And them hoop earrings and them lip gloss, I was cute. <laughs> I was stunned. Man, that was like 12 years ago. Isn't that insane? Time flies. She was a little cutie. My shelves are a little bit dusty. I think we have to clean them. <sighs> now we have to put them in color order. So last time, I feel like I didn't do a good job because they were kind of haphazard and I was doing it as I went. But now my strategy for today is to put them in color piles and then I can just grab them and go and it'd be a lot easier, right? I know I'm genius, gosh, stop. <laughs> you know, I don't like compliments. Say it again. 
<laughs> That's the game plan. But I realized before we do that, I thought maybe I could like bypass dusting, but no, we need to dust. So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll put the books back. Choto mate, kurasai. Oh wait, that would have been a cute thumbnail. Act natural. Stop making me laugh, okay. When you see this picture, leave a heart down at the bottom because you'll know this is when I took my thumbnail. Do you guys think I should do two hands? Two hands! <sighs> Alright, hopefully we got one out of that. I'll be back. So for the new bookshelf, I was thinking we should probably keep the white and gold theme but I kind of want an L shape this time. So I want to face the wall here and put an L here and make it a long L so then I can fit a ton more books there. And then worst case scenario, I feel like I can fill one of these walls with floating shelves. And I think it would look really nice. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. The hard part is over. Now the second hardest part is actually putting everything in color order. I want to do it in the same order as last time. So start with red at the top and then go down to white, but I actually want to do it right this time. So I'm going to look up a reference picture and see if I can do it right this time. All right, this is the reference picture, but I think instead of doing white and brown and black at the top, we'll do that at the bottom. And then we'll start with blue and then purple and green and light blue. I think we'll do that. So instead of putting red at the top, we'll do blue and purple at the top. I think that'd be nice. Look what they did to Breaking Dawn. You see that little tear at the top? Unforgivable. Jail. I haven't even touched these books yet and they already ruined them. I really want to read these so bad. <gasps> Should we have a Twilight Marathon soon? <laughs> I think that'd be so cool. Oh my god, I almost forgot to tell you. I'm also watching Exo Kitty. It officially came out today. And I'm already, what, like on episode six, and I think there's only 10 episodes. As of right now, I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, I don't think it's bad. We'll start off with that. But is that really a good place to start? I don't know. I don't think it's bad, but I feel like the movies were much better. I feel like they're trying so hard to put in so many different factors and different spins on this show that it's kind of like, it's a little too much. They're doing a little too much, but I do like it. I, I enjoy it, but I did have higher hopes for it. That's the only thing. I think that's what sucks with having expectations for stuff like that because it's very rare that they live up to it and then it kind of ruins what could have been just a normal good thing. Let me know if you started it, if you like it, how you feel about it. Hopefully it gets better. I don't mind it though. Like I think it's a decent show, but I really thought that I was going to fall in love with it the way that I did the movies because I've seen the movies a thousand times over. But this show, I'm just like, oh, okay, it's all right. The boys are cute. I love how Kitty's grown up. She's like a good person still. She's still figuring out herself. I think it's cool. But I did have higher expectations. I don't even know what we call this. This is a mixture of like yellow and orange. This goes in the far back somewhere. The problem is I don't really have a lot of purple books. I'll just try my best. I know I have one, the soulmate equation. I want to start that next month. We got absolutely nowhere. I just shuffled the books around. <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe if I face them all to myself, it will get easier. Oh my God, I forgot I have more books back here. <laughs> Maybe I do have a problem. Ooh, seven days in June. Oh my God, should I read this in June? I think we are. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Let's just put all the blue books together and then we'll separate them accordingly. No! <laughs> all right, fine. I have a problem. Maybe I have a little bit too many books. All right. That's never hurt anyone. All right. One pile down, a billion more to go. Also, I recently saw Lord of the Flies, the 90s movie, and it was pretty good, but I feel like the book was much better. I think in the movie they based it off of like in the 90s. So I guess kids could relate to it more. But in the book, if you've read it, it's like 
based in the early 1900s so it was a little bit different but I thought that was a cool spin on it. Also it was really more gruesome than I thought it would be seeing it in real life especially knowing the characters and how you perceive them in your head and then seeing them on a movie screen it was like whoa jarring to see like children die even if it's just a movie so that was crazy <laughs> but I still thought it was a pretty good movie and definitely still got a lot of life lessons from it. I think it's such a good book even if it's still makes you uncomfortable i think it's the kind of book that everyone needs to read just because you learn something from it and then i also heard from a lot of people that i respect like stephen king in an interview he was saying that you need to read it again because you get new lessons from it and he got some new lessons from it and obviously if stephen king says to do something we gotta do it so i kind of want to read this again maybe next year to see where i am mentally and then see what i get from it but while I do this, how are you? What's going on in your life? What book are you currently reading? Leave it down in the comments below and let me know. I am currently reading The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I'm only like 100 pages in. So far it's all right. It hasn't really piqued my interest that much, but I hear it gets better. So I'm gonna try to see it through. I've been meaning to read The Body Keeps the Score for the longest time. I just feel like because I refuse to go to therapy as of right now, because I don't have like the time for it, I feel like this is a great way to kickstart my mental health journey. <laughs> I heard it's very, very good. We're almost done. It's looking pretty good. The hardest part is deciphering the black books and like the white to off-white brownish books. They want us to go from pink to black to brown to white and gray or gray and white. And I don't think all my black books are gonna fit here. I have a ton of black books. We'll give it a go anyway. I feel like pink deserves better, right? Shouldn't it not be right next to the black books? Note to self, we need to get more pink books. That's the problem, obviously. My niece has been reading everything, everything for literally the longest time. She's such a slow reader. She doesn't really like books, but I'm trying to get her into books. It's an uphill battle, but I think with the right book, we can get her hooked. Okay, ignore this right now. This is usually hung up, but they knocked it down when they were doing the carpet. So I'm thinking, we move this chair out of here and then put an L-shaped bookshelf right here. So it covers this wall and this wall. What do we think about that? How do we feel? Right? I thought it was a good idea too. So I want to look on Amazon later on this week, see if I can find anything and hopefully we can get that soon. But that is everything. Let me show you the final result. Look at how beautiful. We did such a good job. Thank you guys so much for helping me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love you so much. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.